For generations of Windows technologies now, Perfmon has been an excellent tool in our tool belt as Windows administrators. Perfmon is short, of course, for the performance monitor. In this micro nugget, let's take a look at data collection sets in Windows Perfmon and how we can take advantage of them. This is a slice out of my supporting Windows 8.1 course here at CBT Nuggets. And yes, before we get started, ah, the Bing wallpaper of the day. Boy, I love this. Uh, this happens to be South Korea. One of the nice things about the Bing wallpaper of the day is it shows you beautiful places on Earth that you may not have had the chance to visit. And this would be one of them for me. Well, anyways, let's get to the point of this micro nugget, shall we? And that is these data collector sets in Performance Monitor. First up on our 8.1 machine, we're going to find Performance Monitor. I'm going to do a search on Perf. Mon as an easy way to get there, and we can see the perfmon.exe. We're going to launch Performance Monitor, and notice that by default, we look at things in real time with this tool, right? So we come over here to Performance Monitor, and you can see right now it's doing a percent processor time, and we're seeing this information in real time. Pretty cool. But I don't want to do that. No, what I would like to do is create a data collection set and run this periodically. This will consist of a lot of different metrics that I could measure. In fact, someone may send you a data collector set template because they have set up some particular statistics that they would want to help you analyze. So this is a very powerful feature. Notice it has its own node here in Performance Monitor. It's data collector sets. And notice one of the areas there is user defined. You can see I have a test data collector and it is currently stopped. We're going to right click and we're going to choose new data collector set. I'm going to name this percent user time because what we want to look at is the processor load for user processes that we are utilizing on this machine. We're pretending we're interested in this particular statistic. Notice you could get very sophisticated here by adding a whole bunch of metrics, but we'll just do one to keep things simple. We don't want to create from a template. We want to create manually because we're advanced. <laughs> so we say next and it says, okay, we're going to create a data log. And are you going to be using performance counters and, oh, yeah, no, get rid of the search bar for right now. Thank you very much, Bing. <laughs> Here I was complimenting Bing, and Bing just annoyed us. Okay, what type of data do you want to include? Performance counter data, event trace data, system configuration information, performance counter alerts. We're interested in particular performance counters. So I say, great, next. The performance counter that I want to add, let's go to processor, and we are interested in percent user time and we want to see all instances of the processor so we're saying percent user time is our metric for all instances of our quad processor machine here we'll say okay and we'll say we want to sample every five seconds for example we'll say next and we store this in the default location of perf logs admin percent user time will be the folder that's fine Next, and we'll run it as the default local system account. So we're ready to save and close. So there we go. We have our percent user time data collection set. I'm going to right click this and we can start it. So in the background now, we are indeed creating a log of this powerful information. So Obviously, we'd want to create some taxing things for this particular CPU. One of those things might be to launch Camtasia Studio and render a video. In fact, let's see if I have anything ready to render in here. We'll do a file, recent project. Here's an intro project. Ah, yeah, this looks good. We'll go up to produce and share, and we will render this AVI. So this is certainly going to be taxing that processor. I'll go ahead now since we've created some activity. And remember, we've been sampling every five seconds in that data collection set. I'll go ahead and wait about another five seconds here. We'll cancel this and then we'll see how easy it is to view this log information in the powerful graphical user interface of Perfmon. All right, that should be enough. We'll cancel that. 
and we will not save, we'll cancel, we'll close Camtasia Studio, and now we'll return to Performance Monitor. We'll go ahead and, by the way, notice the icon change, percent user time, the little dead collector set box has a play button on it to indicate that it is currently running. We will right click and we'll choose stop. Notice if we wanted to send this to someone as a template, we could easily save this as a template. So now we go back to the performance monitor. And for the perfmon, we say we want to go ahead and view log data that we've previously collected. We go and add the log file. And if we go up one level here or up a couple levels, we'll see our percent user time. And we can dig right in there and find the log file that was created. Notice you can go ahead and specify a particular time range. So if you collected a lot of data over a long time range, you could literally limit what you're loading right here with this time range button. We didn't collect a whole bunch of timed information there, right? We didn't collect for a long interval, so I'll just leave it at the default of everything. Now, we've loaded that log, but you still have to add your counters. So I say add. And it says, okay, you collected processor statistics here, specifically percent user time, and we did all instances. So we add that to our graph and we say, okay. And look at this. Here is a graph of the percent user time. That's the CPU load based upon things that the user has initiated, processes that the user has initiated. And we can see that there's a total and then there's a breakdown for each of the processors in this particular machine. Notice how easy it would be for us to go ahead and clear everything but the total graph. And you can obviously see the points where we were rendering that particular video and we can see the load that we put on the CPU. So I didn't want you to miss this important feature of Perfmon, these powerful data collector sets. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.